Hello guys, welcome to this video. I will still be looking at the IGCSC ICT uh, February March 2023 paper 2 1. Okay, so I'd already done the uh, document production as well as the database aspect of this. So in this video, I'll look at the presentation part of uh, this. Okay, so let's begin. You are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have consistent layout and formatting. Create a presentation of six slides using the uh, file m23vision.rtf. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Okay, so let's go and import uh, m23vision.rtf. So I want to open my uh, PowerPoint uh, app. Okay, so you click on open here and then browse for your file. So I'm, I'm going to browse from here. I'm going to open this. So my file is supposed to be here. You want to click on this place and then make sure you choose all files. And then, of course, click on m 23 visionrtf and open that. So that will open the file in slides, right? So how many slides are here? There are about six slides, right? So we are in order. Oh my god, no. I was about to move this. So, but this is how it's supposed to be. So we're good. So let's go ahead to okay. So 26. Okay, so let me let me just highlight uh, this. Okay. Um, and of course, uh, the slide has to display uh, the slides must display title and bulleted list. So if you look at the slide, you have uh, some bulleted list here. You have the one of title, which is here, right? So we're cool what we have okay so 26 make sure that your name center number and candidate number appear in the same position on all slides so what i want to do here is to go to insert go to head and footer you want to check uh, footer here so i want to add our name okay chukwan olefo is my name and then i'm gonna have ng156 and then of course uh zero 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 four zero 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 four will be will be my candidate number okay so i'm going to apply to all and then of course it will appear your footer will appear on every page in the same position and i think we're good with this okay so let me just uh, highlight this so number 27 format the first slide so that a title slightly out is applied with no bullets okay so you want to go to that place you want to actually make sure that the first slide is selected so you want to go to uh, home uh, from layout here you want to click on title right all right so this will appear like this so you can actually right click and then go to um, go to layout here to just assess the same option right so title slide layout is applied with no bullet so we've done that right and then the second one the title and sub uh, title text are center aligned and in middle of the slide right so which we've achieved by changing the layout okay so the center aligned at the middle of the slide we are good with that okay so 2028 20, change the layout of the slide with the title our top performing student to a title with two placeholders side by side okay change the layout of the the slide with the the title so this title our top performing student to a title with two placeholders side by side, okay? So let's look for this, our top performance students. Uh, let's look for that, um, not here, not this, not this, okay. Our, our top performance students, which, which is this one, right? So let's change the layout. Uh, let's take the two contents here. So we're gonna click here so we can have two placeholders side by side, right? Uh, let me be sure for, let me be sure how that looks okay i think it's fine i'm good with that okay so you can do 28 done so 29 using the file m23 mac max uh, comp.csv create a vertical bar chart to compare the average um max for each student except english for girls and boys for girls and boys, display the subject names in full on the category. So let's 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 
create the, the, the chart first, okay? So we're going to use this uh, m 23 max com So let's go to our file. I uh, want to go back to the file. So 23 max com, where are you? Okay, so this is it here. So we want to open that. Okay, so here um, we want to. So, so, so first of all, let's make our data to show. Uh, let's just make sure that our data, everything is showing. Uh, average is showing, and then of course, computer science here is showing. Mm -hmm. I want to have an idea on what we're doing. Okay. Okay. Mm, let me just set, select this, double click in the middle just for it to actually arrange itself. Okay. So let's uh, see the question again. So we're going to create a, a vertical bar chart to compare the average marks for each student. So the average mark for each student. Yeah. And then um, accept English for girls and boys, right? So we're going to we're going to remove English from here. So what we want to do is I'm going to select uh, from here to here. Sorry, here to here. Okay. For the average max, right? I'm going to hold down my control key. I'm going to do what I, what I call a non-contiguous selection. Okay. So I selected this and then make sure that English is not uh, there. So you want to go to insert. You want to go to uh, chart here. Column chart here. You want to choose the first one. So that will do this job for you. you find out that uh, the maths will be about 90, which is here. So if I click on that, it is here. Okay. Uh, for, for the girl. Okay. So if I have, okay, of course, it does, it's showing us in the distance here, the key here. So uh, the boy will have uh, this score. So the the blue is for the girls and then the boys is for the uh, orange, right? So now, so that's for that. So we've created this, the chart, right? So let's see the following questions. Okay, so the, the subject names in full on the category axis. Okay, so of course uh, the subject name, uh, sorry, uh, they're already in, uh, written in full here. So we're good with that. So you can adjust, if your own is uh, very uh, short that it doesn't show, make sure that uh, you adjust it so that everything, the subject names will show in full in the category axis down here. Okay, so the next one will be uh, the chart. Uh, the chart title average marks compared so this, this will be the chart title so i'm going to copy it for convenience sake so i'm going to come to the chart title here you want to select that and then paste okay so we've got the chart uh, the chart title right there so only the data values above each bar only display only the data values above each bar okay so we want to actually uh click on on uh, the chart you want to go to this plus sign here click on it and then make sure that the uh you check on this level so i'm going to just check on it and then data values will be showing on each of them on top of this place right on top of each bar so the, the last one a legend to identify the girls and boys so which has been applied for us okay as you can see the legend the legends are here okay so i think uh, we've covered everything in the question right there okay so let's just highlight part of this to show that we we've done everything here as a matter of fact okay so that's 29 so 30 on the slide with the title our top performing students place the chart you created in step 29 in the right uh, placeholder okay please okay so let's place the the chart first of all so you want to go to the chart you want to just uh, click and then sorry you want to just click once and then select a control c um you want to go to your chart so here you want to do control v you want to paste it right there i think um, it's already pasted the way i want it so i don't think i have more changes to do again okay so i'm going to leave it like that so the next one the next question is place content of the file m23 prizes.csv in the left uh so in the, in the left placeholder okay so let's go open the m23 uh prizes.csv so let's go to my file m23 prizes so want to open that 
Okay, so it's open here. So let's be sure that our data, everything is showing pretty well. Okay, so this content here, so you want to copy it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is um, I'll copy it, I'll open uh, Word. Let me just open a new um, um, document and then paste it right there. Sorry, I don't have to paste it this way. I can paste it as, um, let me see the best uh, formatting. So destination format, I think I'll, I'll paste it this way, right? I like to do this because I think uh, this gives it, let me just press uh, uh, escape. This gives it a better look, sort of. So let me just look at what, what, what we have in the question. Um, okay, so if, okay, so um, this is going to give me a better look. So when I paste it there, I can now uh, copy it. Because if I paste this straight for, uh, straight in the um, uh, PowerPoint, it's going to look somehow actually. So I'm just, a I'm just being a perfectionist here. So I'm going to copy, Control C. Um, I want to paste it here. So let me just use, um, one of these options here so i think i prefer this uh, keep source formatting i want to paste it like that and then enlarge it okay so it will be harder for me to control or maybe adjust if i if i paste it straight here right so now if you look at if you look at okay let me just reduce a bit a tiny bit uh let me look at the, the distance again okay good so you find that the 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 the, the heading they are in uh, carpet they are in uh, what's it called bold format. So we want to actually select all this. So we want to make it bold, and then probably increase the font a bit, something like this. And then what's the next thing there? So if you look at it, they are all center aligned. I mean the headings here. So you want to make sure that they are center aligned, and then you want to pull it down. You want to go to layout here. You want to make sure you select this option here just to push it down okay so that will make it look like what we have in the in the question here i'm just trying to be perfect here so of course um every other uh, um, data they are all um uh, left aligned but at, at the center but if you look at what we have in our own work they are they are top position okay so you want to sorry let me just undo that so but you want to select everything here you want to select everything here um you want to uh, make sure it's left aligned and then go to center aligned okay so maybe i should let me see how small it is in the question okay i think it's actually small as a matter of fact so i don't even think if i should make this one bold i'm just going to leave it let me see mm. um no, it looks bold in my eyes so let me just um, leave it as bold okay so i think this uh, this is uh all we need so i just want to make it to look like what we have there okay so um, that is done so for this uh place the content of of the file empty enterprises in the place uh in the left placeholder format the table as shown okay so we've formatted this table as shown so this is good so we're done with this and then the next one is to number 31 print the slide with the title our top performing a student as a single page okay so you want to go to you want to make sure that this your this thing is selected so you want to this uh what's it called that slide is selected you want to go to file you want to go to print um and then of course you want to make sure that you select uh print current slide which is this one okay because see, if you click on print all slides it's going to print all the slides which is not what you need you want to uh uh, uh press you want to select the print current slide here okay so it, this will you can now you can now go ahead to print right good all right so that's for that particular question so uh, this particular question done print all the slides as shown uh, as handout sorry print all the slides as handout with two slides to the page each slide filling half the page right so I don't think they indicated whether it's portrait or landscape, but we're going to just leave it at the default uh, distance um, orientation. So you want to get there. You want to, you want to click here and then uh, print all slides. You want to ensure from here that they are in two slides. Okay, the handout they are printed in handout uh, two slide handouts, right? Like this. Okay. So you want to go ahead. Of course, so it's going to be about three 
printout okay so you want to go ahead to print this and this is how it's going to be printed okay so that is it for this uh, i think uh, we've, we're done with everything here okay so um, if everything is done correctly you're going to get yourself uh, 60 marks here okay so thank you so much uh, for this video and uh, if you have any question leave a comment down below and then if you have any addition or anything you want to um, talk about you can leave it at the description so that others can also learn okay so thank you so much for this i'll see you in the next one bye